Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can build an AI agent on Telegram that you can interact with, not just with text, but also with your voice. If you send a voice message to the AI agent, it will respond with a voice message. If you send a text message to the AI agent, it will respond with a text message. In fact, let me show you how it works. So here we go. What is the weather in London like at the moment? And it takes a second to think about it, and we've got a response, so I can... Current weather in London is as follows. Condition, overcast clouds, temperature, 22. There we go. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but it tells me the weather in London, if that's what I want to know. Now, this is a super useful tool to have, as it means you can turn any AI agent into a voice assistant or a voice agent. So I'm going to walk you through the entire process. Also, I'm going to give you the template for this automation absolutely for free. So you can download it and start using it in just a few clicks. So stick around for that. Anyway, enough of the chit chat. Let's get into it. Okay, so to build this Telegram voice AI agent, we are going to be using NA10. If you don't know what NA10 is, then uh, it's this fantastic tool that you can use to build lots of AI agents, AI automations. We're going to look at it in more detail in just a second. But first, we need to Google bot father. May seem like a bit of an odd thing to Google, but we need to get to this uh, page here. Botfather is the tool that you use to create bots with on uh, Telegram. So I'm going to come to this page. I'm going to go open in web because I want to open up on the web. You can see I've used it before, but I'm simply going to type in here um, forward slash new bot. And it's going to take a second to reply. And it says, what do you want to call your new bot? I'm going to call it uh, te test mat bot. And there we go. And I'm going to call it test mat bot again. It's got to end in bot. So there we go. And what we're doing here is just setting up the bot. It's going to give us, okay, the username's already taken. Let me go uh, test mat bot with some numbers in it. There we go. So this is giving us an API key, which will give us in just a second. So we can connect to a bot. So you want to copy this process. Then once you have your bot, you want to click on that link there so you can open it up and start speaking to your bot. But most importantly, we want to copy this API token here. Just click it to copy it. Okay, good. So we're going to go over to NA10. Um, this is the workflow here. I'm going to talk you through it in steps. But the first thing that we're going to need to do is that we will need to um, create a Telegram trigger. Go do this just by going over here, going Telegram, clicking on this, and going on triggers. And what we want is on message. And that's what I've got here. Now, you will not have a credential if this is the first time setting this up. So you'll have to click here and click on new credential. And this is where you will put in that token that we just copied from uh, Botfather here. And once you have that, you will set up, give it a name as well, and you will set up your Telegram authentication for that bot. And it's very important that on all Telegram nodes, let me close this, um, you select whatever that bot is. Now, I've already got one set up, which I've called Matt's NA10 test bot. That's the one that I'm going to be using. However, um, when you're doing it, just simply use the one that, uh, that we set up just a second ago here. Now, if you want to download this NA10 automation here and simply download it, upload it, and you've got everything here, then there's a link in the description where you can go to this page here, enter your details, and I'll send it to you for free. You can download it in a matter of seconds, start using it, and you can implement it just like that. Now you do still have to set up Telegram and you have to connect your OpenAI account. But apart from that, it's super quick and easy. So I click the link in the description and you can download that for free. Okay, so that's all we need to do with Telegram. Now we're just inside NA10. So um, what are we doing here? Well, first of all, we need to decide if the message that we're getting is voice or is it text? Because if it's text, we respond with text. If it's voice, we respond with voice. So what we're doing here is adding in a set fields node, which I've called is voice. And what it's doing um, is, in fact, let me uh, give this um, a, a run so we can see data being passed through. Let me go uh, execute workflow. And let me uh, give it another question. Let me give it the same one. Oh, what's the weather like in Edinburgh today? Okay, so that's going to go through. We can see it working there. And this is just going to mean we've got some data to play around with. So if I click into this, we can see that what we're doing is uh, creating a Boolean, so a true or false, about um, is it voice. And how we're doing this is we are finding the voice property within here, which exists because I just sent a voice message, and seeing if it exists. And we're doing that by putting two exclamation marks before um, this, this bit of JavaScript here. That will return, return true if it exists and false if it does not exist. So essentially, we are setting this variable of is voice by checking if there is voice. Pretty simple, right? So then we're coming onto a switch. This is basically saying if voice, which we just set, 
is true, then go down the is voice route. If it's not true and there's no voice, it's just text, go down the other route. Then what we are doing, if it is voice, which is this one up here, in fact, let me uh, zoom in. What we're doing is we are downloading that audio file. So if we open this up, we're using the Telegram file get. And again, we're selecting the correct bot uh, that we, we just created on Telegram. And we're passing in the file ID from the first step. And you'll find that just on the left-hand side, Telegram trigger and file ID, pass that in. And you want to make sure that download is turned on. And once you do that, you should be able to download this data file here, or this binary file, which is called data, should I say. Then what we're doing, if it is voice, is we need to take that audio file and we're transcribing it. What we're gonna to use to transcribe it is OpenAI's, uh, I think it's called Whisper from OpenAI. Um, you can use any provider that you want to transcribe audio. I'm just using OpenAI because it's pretty simple. So all you have to do here is simply have an OpenAI account, uh, create uh, an API key, API token, and then put your credentials in here. To do this, uh, you just simply go across to openai.com forward slash API, and uh, you can create an account, grab an API key, and uh, come over to uh, NA10. And you can use this node here, which is very simply uh, openai, and then where is it? Transcribe, transcribe a recording. And all we're doing is passing in the name of the binary file, which is data. That's all we need to put in there, data. Okay, so once we have that, we are coming to this uh, edit fields node here. Now, what this is doing is it is passing on to the AI agent the text, whether that text comes from voice or whether that text comes from text, right? So how we're doing this is we've got our output, that's what the field's called, and we have got two fields. You can see they're both red here, but that's not a problem, don't worry about that. Um, what we're doing is we are grabbing either the um, transcription from here or the message, um, the text from here. So let me have a look at this. What this is doing is either grabbing the JSON.text and this JSON.text is going to be the OpenAI recording here. As you can see, the, sorry, the text transcription is called text. So it's the node before it. So it's the JSON.text. And now's probably a good time to say, um, if you are confused with any of this NA10 side of things, then do come on over to the free Applied AI Club. We deal with a lot of NA10 over there, but also more in general, how do you apply AI to a business in order to make a more profitable business? It's free. I've also got a paid mastermind if you if you really want to put it into action, but uh, come and check it out. So uh, back to it, we're either getting the transcription or we're getting the text message from the Telegram trigger. So if there is text, that was passed in, we're grabbing that from step number one. If it was transcribed, then we're grabbing that transcription from the previous step. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're then using uh, this output here, which we've combined, and we're sending it into our AI agent. Now, I've got a few things connected here. I've got creating a calendar event, I've got sending an email, I've got reading contacts in Airtable, I've got uh, getting the weather, which I just showed you. Um, I'm not gonna go through here how you set up AI agents and how you connect it to tools. If you do want to see that, head over to the Applied AI Club and you can see how all of that stuff works. Also, you can check out my other videos on this channel. Um, but with this AI agent node, we are simply connecting an AI model, which I'm using OpenRouter for. Uh, OpenRouter just allows you to connect to any AI model. So I can really quickly change between, uh, what have I got at the moment, GPT-4 and Mini. I can change it to uh, Mistral, I can change it to Meta, I can change it to Gemma or, or Gemini or Gemma, DeepSeek, Claude, whatever I want, I can change it super quickly. And then also we have to have simple memory. So one thing to mention in the simple memory is that we need to make this define below. And then we're gonna grab the chat ID from, um, let, me, let me close this, from um, the first step, which is here, and we're grabbing the chat ID. This is what we want to put in there. And I'm setting this to five. You could set this to 10. If you are having difficulties in like it forgetting messages or forgetting context, then you can um, set that to 10, 15, 20, whatever you want. The higher you set it, the more money you're going to spend though. So keep that in mind. All right. So that's the AI agent side of things. If you need help um, with how to set up an AI agent, what it is and how it works, check out the other videos I've got on my channel. Check out the, uh, the free community. I'm sure you'll find all the great stuff there. So after we've got an output from an AI agent, this is always going to be in text. So what we've got to do is convert that text either into voice or into just send the text, right? Just send it. But what we need to do is we need to remember, okay, when they sent the message, was it sent um, in text or was it sent 
as voice. So what we're doing in this switch here is that we're going back to the node called is voice, and we are seeing if is voice is true or false. So we're going to this node, getting is voice, and then if it is voice, we're sending it down the voice uh, route. If it's not voice, then we send it down the text route. So on the voice route, what we're doing is we're going to OpenAI again, and we're using this not to transcribe it, but to turn text into voice. Now, again, there are so many providers for turning text into voice. OpenAI is not the best one. I think at the moment, 11 Labs is pretty good. Minimax is pretty good, but this does fine just for these purposes. You can play around with it. Um, and what we're doing is obviously connecting these up, generating audio. The model I'm using is just this one here. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, I am passing in the text input at, from the node of the AI agent. So the AI agent node over here. This is the output, just dragging this in here. And then what you're gonna to want to do, which is quite important, is on the response format, you will want to select Opus. This is not selected as a default. The reason you wanna select this is if you choose MP3, which I think is the default, it will simply send the message as a file, which you can listen to, but it won't give you like this audio thing here, right? And it's going to show me, you know, how long it is and how far through it is. And on my phone, I can, you know, see like the waveform. Um, so only if you send it as Opus will it will that work. Um, okay. So once we've done that, all we're doing is sending the audio um, here as send audio, and using the chat ID again from the the trigger, the very first step, grabbing that chat ID just like we did with the session ID or for the session ID, um, grabbing the chat ID and putting that in here. We're sending a binary file. We've got send audio selected. And the name of the binary file is data, which is the binary file that we get from the previous step. Okay, and that's gonna send the audio message. And then if we wanna send a text message, if we're just res responding to text, then all we're doing is simply just sending a message on Telegram. Again, we've got our correct bot connected. We've got our chat ID filled in, and we have got the text, which is simply the text coming from um, OpenAI or from this AI agent here. There are loads and loads of ways which you could improve this. There are loads and ways which you could uh, personalize it and modify it to yourself. What I've put in here in the um, the system message is always be concise because I find that for myself, AI agents just ramble loads and loads and loads. So there's lots of things you can do such as that, such as improving the transcription or the, the voice model to make it better. Hopefully this is a good starting point for how you can create an AI agent that you can interact with via voice on Telegram. Honestly, I find this so, so useful because it means I can turn any automation, any AI agent into a voice agent. And it's just super quick, super great. And I can interact with it via voice, which is my personal preference. So there we go. If you have questions on any of this, then do come on over to the Applied AI Club. I can answer any questions over there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. If you want to see more videos like this, then do subscribe to the channel and I'll be posting a lot more videos like this. Of course, grab the template too at the link in the description and you can start using this for yourself uh, in just a couple of clicks. That's it from this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.